everyone. Today we'll be discussing about the format of Unit 4 paper IT. So this is the A2 level practical paper. So this is why I decided to do a, um, a video about this is because the format is different from what we have in AS level. And also there are a few things that I need to mention and that you guys need to think about when answering your paper. All right. So um, I will be using the June 2020 paper to explain the things to you guys. I'm not doing any questions, but the next video is going to be questions of 2020 June paper. Okay, so the format, this is the paper. It is only 12 pages. So the reason for 12 pages is because you have to write, like as in type, all your answers in a given template. So in the documents that they provide you, you have... So you have the paper and then you have um, an MS access database. So for the 2020 June paper, this is the database that they have given and it has this table called table trainer, which they already have made. And then um, they have also provided us a candidate template, which is uh, on the screen right now. So it has all the questions num numbers from 1A and to the last question, this question number five. So uh, you have to perform your practical questions in the database. They will, there will be um, creating queries, there will be forms, reports, and then doing changes to the already made tables, um, formatting to do, and then um, validations and so on. So. They have uh, mentioned um, when you take screen prints, like screen prints in design view, they've also mentioned like what sort of a screen print you should take in the paper, which is what I'm showing right now. Um, so as you go, please make sure to read these questions, uh, instructions before you open the paper. So that you have a rough idea. So in this case, they say type your responses to question 1C and question 5. So you know that you have two questions to type and mostly the two questions that you get to type are about nine marks. So you have an idea that you have two nine markers and then total is 80 marks. And you guys know the structure. And then read every single instruction um, given because they will have important information. Like in this case, it tells you to save the candidate template using a file name in the following format, which is this and they've also given an example what it might look like so read the instructions and then you have a case study so it's a scenario and please make sure to get a clear idea about this scenario if you don't read it again because your whole paper is based on this scenario and if you don't like the scenario I don't think you'll be able to perform certain things like a queries and some queries lead to uh, creating reports and forms. So in that case, you're technically screwed up. So that's the scenario. And then you start the questions. So as I said, they mentioned screen print the table in design view, take in design view. And then, um, so here they have two screen prints to take. So screen print your form in, in form view, then produce screen prints in design view. So when they ask for two screen prints, they normally give you um, space to do that. So if I show you guys what it's like, so it's it was like this question, for example. Um, sorry, it was this question. So form view and design view. So make sure you don't mix the two up or you don't put all the screen prints in just one cell. So pay, focus, uh, pay attention to that kind of information. Um, so yeah, and then here, the 1C question that they said, uh, so it's a nine marker. Um, it's a, uh, so the nine markers are about analyzing data and recommended how to structure such uh, questions. Um, so yeah, that's the structure of the paper. And if you go through all the other papers, it is mostly creating queries. So I did a video on queries. So make sure you watch that video 
and I will be uploading more videos on like advanced queries and stuff like that. So watch out for the new videos. Here also, this is another example when you need two screen prints, design view and print view, right? So not form view, but print view. So when we do the questions, I'll show you guys how you should do that and how the editing should be done and whatnot. So yes, that's the format of the paper. I hope you guys have a clear idea as to, so there are five questions overall, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that's basically the format. It's way simpler than the AS paper and um, it's not very complicated content like HTML coding, CSS and JavaScript. No, it's just MS access um, and be focused and that's it. So I will be uploading the this paper uh, the 2020 June paper. I will first be uploading the queries, then the reports, and then the form. It's like um, the from easy to hard level. So you guys won't find it hard as well. See you in the next video.